Hey everybody, uh, Miss Snicker here. I thought I would just kind of explain the school spirit mass design assignment a little bit better. Um, I'm going to start by saying this is not required, right? This is just something if you want to do for extra fun, um, please feel free to do so. So I feel like the best way to do this is to kind of just so show you digitally how you can do this, but you can also print out a copy of this and draw right on your copy. So I'm going to click on the picture of the mask in the assignment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the little box at the bottom with the up arrow to save it. So if I click on that, I'm going to save to camera roll. And then there's a couple different options here for what you could do. So I'm going to open up um, Doodle Buddy first. So if you're younger and you're using Doodle Buddy, um, what you can do is click on the little background button at the bottom on the right and click Photos and then click the picture of the mask. Then you're gonna click the check mark at the top and then you can draw right on here. So this is school spirit mask design. So um, your school is called Jefferson Elementary, right? Our mascot is the bear. Our colors are um, red, black, and white. So you can pick a design and draw a design on here that reflects maybe your school colors. So I'm just gonna do a little stripe real quick and then you could spend way more time on this, but I'm just trying to do it fast. And then maybe I'll put in some black for my design. Once you have your design all done, you can hit the little wrench tool at the bottom on the right, and you can click Save, and that saves to your photos. You can also try Sketch a School. So for those of you who are a little bit older, you might want to try Sketch a School. Click on the blank plus. And then um, at the top, there's three little dots. And you can click the box with the down arrow and select Photo. And then pick your blank mask. Hit the check mark at the bottom. And then you can do your design on here. So if you, you know, wanted to do like a bear to show that we are the bears, you could do that. And then um, once you're done, let me do my bear real quick here. All right, so let's say that's my bear and I'm done. That was really fast. Then I'm gonna click on the three dots at the top again. And this time I'm gonna hit the box with the up arrow and I'm gonna hit save image. So that's also been put into my photo album. So when I go into Artsonia and I click on my grade, then what I can do, find my name then what I can do is hit the yellow plus button and I see all of my projects and there's one that's called School Spirit Mask, so it's this bottom one. I'm going to click the plus again, hit import from photo library, and then I can pick my picture of my mask here to add it to my collection. So I'm going to hit next and submit. And I'm going to skip these next two steps where it asks me to give it a name and a statement. Those are not things that you need to do. And then basically from here on out, if I'm a parent, then what I could do is connect to my child's account so that I can then go look at the store and see all the merchandise. So then there's a mask that you could purchase with your child's design on it. So if you have not connected to your child's account yet, you can simply click on Home and click on Connect Parent right here in the middle. And then what you would do is put in your email address and then you would just go through a couple of steps once you're in your email to make sure that you are um, connected. So, All right, I just jumped over to what it looks like from a parent's perspective. So I've logged in and you can see um, all of your children that you have in here. So if you have more than one kid, you can see um, both of, all of their um, profiles and their artwork and if you need to there is a button where it says um, add another child so you can do that right there. But for example if you click on the mask um, you will see kind of a preview of what it looks like and then there's the gift shop so if you click on the gift shop then you'll see all of the products and the merchandise that you can buy um, with that image on it.
For this one, the mask is going to look the best because you could see the template on everything else. So for the mask one, um, that would be ideal. You can click on any of the artwork and you can get any of this merchandise um, with any piece of artwork on it. So um, it's kind of a fun option, especially for personalizing gifts um, for holidays or birthdays. Um, but you do have to be connected to your child's account to do that. So if you have questions about that, please feel free to email me or send me a message through Seesaw and I will be happy to answer any questions that I did not answer for you today. I hope that is helpful and you guys have a good one.